Rattlesnakes receive their name from the rattle located at the end of their tails, which makes a loud rattling noise as a warning to passers-by. They are found mostly in southwestern Canada to Argentina. During a rattlesnake bite the venom is injected under the voluntary control of the snake. About 20% bites ends at no envenomation at all. Most deaths occur between 6 and 48 hours of the bite. If the antivenom is given the probability of recovery is 99%. The snake bite causes nausea, vomiting, perspiration, finally heart failure. It is estimated that 7,000 to 8,000 people are bitten by the rattlesnakes and more than 15,000 cattle are bitten by rattlesnakes every year. The symptoms of the rattlesnake bites are one or two puncture marks. Bruising and discoloration at the site of the bite. Swelling at the area of the bite. And numbness. The common death adder is a species of death adder, native to Australia. It is one of the most venomous snakes in Australia and around the world. They are mostly found in eastern and coastal southern Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia, west parts of South Australia, and Papua New Guinea. The common death adder venom contains highly toxic neurotoxin, which can cause paralysis or even death. Human death can occur within six hours of the bite. The viper is a family of Venus snakes found in most of the world excluding Australia, Antarctica, New Zealand, Madagascar, Hawaii, and some isolated islands of the Arctic Circle. They have long hinged flangs that permit deep penetration and injection of venom. When fangs not in use the fangs fold back against the roof of the mouth and enclosed in a membranous sheath. Viper venoms typically contain an abundance of protein-degrading enzymes called protease. It causes pain, strong local swelling and necrosis. Death is usually caused by collapse in blood pressure. This is in contrast to elapid venoms that generally contains neurotoxins cause numbness and paralysis. Viper victims may also be allergic to venom or the anti-venom. So the fate of the victim is impossible to predict. The Philippine cobra is also known as Northern Philippine cobra. It is a stocky species of spitting cobra, native to northern regions of Philippines. They are also found in Lazan, Mindoro, Katunduanes, Azria and Masbate. The snakes are capable of accurately spitting up to 3 meters that is 9.8 feet away. The symptoms of the bite might include headache, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, dizziness, and difficulty in breathing. The neurotoxin present in its venom can cause respiratory paralysis. The neurotoxins interrupt the transmissions of nerve signals by binding to neuromuscular junction near the muscles. Most probably the death occurs at the 30 minutes of the bite. Tiger snakes are the type of venomous snakes found in southern region of Australia including its coastal islands and Tasmania. These snakes are highly variable in their colors, often banded like those on a tiger. Tiger snakes are accounted for 16% identified snake bite victims between 2005 and 2015 with four deaths. Recorded from 119 envenomations. The snake venom possess neurotoxins, coagulants, hemolysins, and myotoxins which results in numbness and paralysis. The black mamba is a venomous snake, endemic to parts of sub-Saharan Africa. Skin color varies from dark to brown. Juvenile black mambas are paler than adults and darken with age. The dark mambas venom is composed of neurotoxins and cardiotoxins as well as other toxins such as fasciolins. The most abundant toxin found in black mamba venom was observed to be able to kill a mouse as little as 4.5 minutes. It is reported that if antivenom was widely available, the mortality rate from a bite was 100%. The taipan snakes are the genus Oxyuranus in the elapid family. They are large fast-moving highly venomous and endemic to Australia. 
species of their genus possess highly neurotoxic venom with some other toxic constituents that have multiple effects of victim. The venom is known to paralyze the victim's nervous system and clot the blood, which then blocks blood vessels and rises up clotting factors. The blue crate is also known as Indian crate or common crate. They are the venomous snakes in the jungles of Indian subcontinent. They are mostly found in Pakistan, West Bengal, South India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bangladesh and in Afghanistan. The common crate's venom consists of mostly of powerful neurotoxins, which includes muscle paralysis. Clinically its venom contains presynaptic and postsynaptic neurotoxins, which generally affects the nerve endings near the synaptic cleft of the brain. The untreated mortality rate is about 70% to 80%. Its venom can kill a person within 5 hours. The eastern brown snake is often referred as the common brown snake is a species of venomous elapid snake. The native of this snake is eastern and central Australia and southern New Guinea. This is the world's second most venomous land snakes. It is responsible for 60% snake bite death in Australia. And they are mostly found in Melbourne, Canberra, Sydney and Brisbane. The venom mostly consists of neurotoxins and blood coagulants, this snake's venoms, cause diarrhea, dizziness, collapse or convulsions, renal failure, paralysis and cardiac arrest. Without medical treatment the bite can be fatal. The inland taipan is commonly known as the western taipan the small-scaled snake or the fierce snake. It is extremely venomous on the taipan genus. They are mostly found in central Australia. The average quantity of the venom delivered by this species is 44 mg, and the maximum dose recorded is 110 mg, when compared to Indian cobra. The mortality is high in untreated cases. It can cause paralysis, coagulopathy, renal failure and aphylaxis cardiac complications. Death can occur within 45 minutes of inland, taipan bite. Do you ever find such venomous snakes? If so please leave your experience in the comment section. If you like this video please put your thumbs up. Please give suggestions about the top 10s that you would like.